hey guys welcome to my channel my name is Fatima and in today's video I'm going to be filming a everyday makeup tutorial everyday makeup look but this is different to the makeup looks that I usually film so in honor of Black History Month I decided to put together a makeup look that I would do with only black owned makeup brands so I'm super excited to be filming this for you guys I got a bunch of makeup products from a bunch of different black owned makeup brands also some of the products that I will be showing in this video you will be able to find at Sephora so all the links for that will be down below in the description box Sephora Canada did gift me with some items to make this video for you guys so thank you so much to them for that with that being said let's get right into today's video okay so the first product that I'm gonna be showing you guys is this moisturizer which is from Shawnee Darden so basically she's a black esthetician and she came out with her skincare line which this can also be found at Sephora and so I went ahead and picked up her moisturizer so this is her weightless oil free moisturizer so I really like the fact that this moisturizer is like super lightweight like it says I feel like it's a perfect base to put on before you put on your foundation because obviously you don't necessarily want something that's like too oily before you go in with your like makeup and you guys I'm just gonna say please excuse my lashes they look crazy right now I have like a couple lashes holding on for dear life right now um, I have an appointment coming up soon but also do you guys notice my forever mood candle in the back this is like my favorite scent from her line definitely it's more of like a clean fruity scent and that's definitely like of my alley so now that we have moisturizer out of the way I'm gonna go in with primer so this is the Liss beauty primer it says secure skin gripping serum primer and this also has like some skincare components in it so it has 5% niacinamide and AHAs. It definitely reminds me of the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. It's just a little bit more like watery than that. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this everywhere on my face. I'm definitely generous when it comes to primer. Okay, so next up, we're going to be doing brows. I'm using this brow pencil, which is from Mented. This is their High Brow Precision Pencil. Mented is another black owned makeup brand. I did like a little bit of a poll, I guess, where I asked you guys to let me know what is like your favorite black owned makeup brands on my instagram somebody suggested mented which i actually had never heard of them previously so i checked them out and i decided to purchase some things from them as well and this is one of the items that i purchased from them which had actually a good amount of reviews on their website this primer by the way it's starting to feel like really tight on my face it feels like i have botox on or something so next up i'm gonna go in with a concealer this is a concealer from juvia's place in the shade 11 and i'm gonna use that to carve out my eyebrows So for the foundation, I'm going to be going in with the Path McGrath Lab Skin Fetish Foundation. I got this in the shade Medium Deep 27, but I was stuck between 26 and 27. Ultimately, I ended up just going with the shade number 27, but this is something I'm super excited to try out. For one, because this is the most expensive foundation I've ever had. This cost me $90 Canadian, which is a lot <laughs> for Americans. It retails for, I think, 60 something dollars. But yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and apply this. Um, but yeah, this foundation is a bit sheer, to be completely honest. I actually really like this, this foundation. It feels really nice and almost skin-like, I would say. To conceal, I'm going to be using the Woma Woma. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, Stay Woke Concealer. This is one of the products I'm really excited about as well. I've never tried anything out from this brand. So this I got in the shade T2. I like the fact that this concealer has a pretty large applicator. I feel like it just makes applying the product so much easier. But I'm gonna do what I usually do with concealer. I'm just gonna bring this down my nose. And then of course I'm gonna put some of that on my forehead and then my chin. So as always, I'm gonna let this dry down for a bit. This isn't necessarily a matte concealer, so I'm not really scared of letting it dry down. I'm gonna go in with my contour stick. This one is from Juvia's Place as well. This is in the shade Sokoto. I love this contour stick. I've been using it for a while, actually. The reason why I like it is because it's so blendable. It's one of the most blendable contour sticks I've ever owned. That's one of the things that I really look for in a contour stick. I don't like when a contour stick is really like tough and hard to blend. As you guys can see, this blends out literally so easily. I don't even have to put that much work in. It's just blending out seamlessly. A 
Okay, so my contour is blended out. The next step is to blend this concealer out. So I'm gonna start by blending out the edges and then going into the inner corners. Okay, so I definitely like the consistency of this concealer. It feels really nice and high coverage. So the next step that I'm gonna be doing is going in and applying some cream blush. That is really like my new favorite thing to do. I like to go in with cream blush because it just lasts so much longer when you do use cream blush. This one is of course by Fenty. This is their cream blush in this shade Summertime Wine. Of course I could not do this video without including a product from the Fenty line, obviously. So I like to apply this on top of my contour. Basically where I would normally apply my blush, I just apply the cream blush there as well. And I feel like this, again, just creates, just brings a lot more color to your face. Okay, so now that I've applied my cream blush, it's time for me to set this concealer. Before setting my concealer, I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender one last time and just blend underneath my eyes just to make sure that there are no creases and then for powder i'm so excited to use this product this is from the beauty bakery line um and it's their flower setting powder i got this in the color cassava which is yellow i have heard so much about the beauty bakery products and i've never actually went out and purchased it so i'm genuinely really really excited to use their products this powder feels really like fine which is something that I like. So I just applied a little bit of powder and it's not really lightening. Honestly, this powder is pretty much just setting. I really like that though because it means that it's like a true translucent. But I'm gonna go ahead and apply a first layer everywhere that I applied my concealer. I'm gonna go in with my second layer of powder which is what I've been doing lately and I really like the results. So I'm gonna go in and really, this is like my baking layer. really really love this powder it feels really lightweight which I don't know it feels different to anything that I've ever used but I could already tell that I, I really like this powder and this may look like really white but I'm sure that when I blend this out it's not gonna be super harsh okay so next up I'm gonna go in with my powder contour so I'm gonna be using another product from Beauty Bakery this is their brownie bar face palette this is what it looks like there's three shades inside of it so this is like the blush highlighter and then their contour shade so I'm just gonna go in with a little bit I don't know how pigmented this is so I'm just gonna try and like put a little bit and then if I need to apply more I'll do so honestly I really love the way this makeup look is coming together I feel like this makeup look is gonna look really good so with that done I'm gonna go in and use my holy grail product the bronzer by Fenty Beauty in the shade Mocha Mommy and then when it comes to this product, I like to go in with this and apply quite a bit of this because I'm such a big fan of how this like makes me look sun-kissed. Now we're gonna do blush. So I'm gonna try and use this blush right here. So I also have another blush. This one is from Mented. And as you guys can see, this looks so like beautiful. This color looks really nice and pigmented. It almost looks like it's a cream blush, but it's actually powder. So I'm excited to use this. It does look a little bit deeper than I what I would usually go for for blush. Um, it's like a pink slash purple vibe. The pigment on this is really great. Like I literally picked up just a little bit and it already showing up so much. But this is gorgeous. The color of this blush is actually very beautiful. Okay, I really like that blush. So our base is pretty much almost done. The last thing that I'm going to be doing is going in with my beauty blender and basically just pressing in all the excess foundation. I don't usually dust it off. I just go in with my damp beauty blender and just like press all of the excess powder. So I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Bronzer and I'm just gonna set my nose contour and then of course whenever it comes to nose contour you definitely want to bring that into the brow okay so i'm going to take a little bit of a larger brush i'm going to take mocha mommy and apply that to my lid i'm going to apply this like to the crease basically to my whole lid and then i'm going to flick it upwards 
and then i forgot to do this but i'm gonna take literally a little bit of powder and go in and do my reverse contour line and then i'm gonna blend that out with my beauty blender i don't like to have a super defined um reverse contour line because i feel like it can look a little bit harsh and then i'm gonna go in with my foundation brush and blend this out like i said i really don't like for this to look too harsh okay so i applied my lip liner now i'm gonna go ahead and apply my lip products to do my lips i'm gonna be going in with the fancy refillable lipstick um this is their semi matte lipstick i'm going to be using the shade pose queen which is the shade 05 and basically how it works at first everything is like locked in and then you flip it out and then you can apply your lipstick and then after that you just put it back in i think this is a super cute concept and also what i like about this you can change this out you basically just pull it out like i just did and then you can go in with another one and put it in it's stuck in and then you basically just do the same process but today i'm going to be using pose queen so i'm going to snap this back into place and then i'm going to use this on the inners of my lips I feel like I need to add something onto this, so I'm gonna go in and apply some lip gloss. Okay, guys, so this is pretty much the end result of my makeup look using only black owned makeup brands personally i'm obsessed with this beat like i feel like this looks so freaking bomb i especially love this blush i love the purple pink blush on this but yeah you guys this pretty much concludes the makeup video for today i'm obsessed with how this beat came out of course all of the makeup products that i use will be linked down below in the description box i'm so happy to be able to make this video for you guys and put you guys on if you guys don't already know to some of these makeup products these makeup brands i personally got put on to a lot of new makeup brands in the process of making this video if you guys do end up liking the video of course go ahead and click the like button leave some comments down below and you know what guys put me on to some new black owned makeup brands whether it's skincare or makeup i'm definitely open to purchasing more black owned products if you do know some other ones that i haven't featured in this video then go ahead and leave the brand name down below and of course if you're not already subscribed go ahead and click that subscribe button I'll see you guys in the next one.